let's just do it. Let's just dump it in as quickly as possible before Olivia wakes up. We'll do that one. Olive oil, onion, salt. This is all a guessing game, really. Hi guys, how are you? So, I am today going to be making a soup. Now, this just isn't any soup. This is actually a soup that's going to be made in my new ninja. So, I cheated, cheated myself, tr treated myself to the ninja soup maker. I don't even know if it's called the ninja soup maker, but I'm going to put the link below. It looks incredible and the reason why I treated myself first of all is because I had my c-section and also I've taken on quite a lot of business coaching clients recently and I thought do you know what I'm going to treat myself to this soup maker now this is something that when I was a kid if my mum said she was treating herself to a soup maker I'd have thought how sad must your life be now I am said mum it excites me it excites me a lot so the reason why I've got a soup maker is obviously to treat myself, but also I'm now wanting to lose some weight. So on the day before Olivia was born, I weighed myself and I was 12 stone. I'm usually around nine and a half stone, nine, three when I'm really good and around nine and a half normally. So I am um, now four weeks post, is it post pregnancy? Yeah, I am. So I'm feeling a lot better. Um, and so now I want to kind of start tracking my calories. So I weigh now 10 stone four, um, which isn't bad at all. And yes, I am really happy. I don't have to lose weight. Uh, a lot of people um, have said, oh, you don't have to do that yet. You know, you're only a mom, enjoy it. I, I know all that, but because of my health anxiety, it's a case for me of it helps me cope with my health anxiety when I'm healthy. So if I'm healthy, I don't worry about my health as much. It sounds really bizarre, but that is just how my mind works. So I want to get back in that zone of being healthy, making healthy choices with the odd treat, of course. Um, so I wanted to get the soup making for that reason. So I'm gonna go to Sainsbury's and I'm gonna go and pick up some stuff for my soup. Um, and I'm fancying a bit of butternut squash, um, but I'm intrigued to see how this machine actually works. So I wanted to get you guys to come along with me and try this machine and see if the soup is as good as what it should be. With me cooking, I don't know, it's debatable. So oh, as you can see, we are Ninja fans. That machine is an absolute godsend. We got it for Christmas and it is amazing. I'll show you that another day, but this is the one I'm talking about today. So I'm going to make my soup maker in this. No idea what I'm supposed to do, but I've got my ingredients from Sainsbury's all here. So I've got butternut squash, some onions, some garlic, some chilli and some olive oil and I'm hoping that can make a soup. So first of all, I need to see how we're gonna use this machine because I've never used it before. So this is my spice straw. Do you like it? I actually did a declutter on this recently. Um, so this is the Ninja recipe book. So I wanna see how we actually make soups. I want a smooth soup so you can do chunky or smooth. First, choose oil or butter, then add onion, then add those. And then I must just press soup, 35 minutes. Is that right? Let me just see if there's anything else. That's it. Right, there we go. Now, I haven't got all of those ingredients, but surely we'll have to just make it work. Oil. Just let chop. Okay. I think I can do this. So, I've got my soup ingredients. I've washed everything out. You're not to submit that in water, by the way. Just to let me know. The, um, the bottom bit that comes out of here. You're not to submit in water. So, this is really heavy actually. So, olive oil, stick the, a small onion in, 
I'm just going to come up with something myself. So the ingredients that I've got because I've realised that basically I may have done it wrong. Let me just go and check. The baby, she's fast asleep. She's awake. She's awake. She's awake. So I'm going to have to leave this for a little longer. So I've started to think, why am I not really achieving anything in the day while I'm off on maternity leave? So I've got a list of all the things that I need to do uh, while I'm off on maternity leave with Olivia. And everyone's saying, you know, newborn phase is the easiest part, bar the sleep. So I'm thinking like, why can't I get anything done? And this is why. Let me just show you. I can't move because she's so comfy. And when I do move her, she wants feeding. And uh, yeah, basically I'm struggling to get anything done because I'm cuddling this one all the time. Um yeah right okay she's asleep again so i've got my olive oil I need, I need to look at how you actually do these things well it's told me what to do so that's what i need to do isn't it so two tablespoons of olive oil check let's just do it let's just dump it in as quickly as possible before olivia wakes up so two tablespoons of olive oil you can do that one Two, thank you. Onion peeled, cut into quarters. You can do that. So yeah, at the moment I'm trying to lose, trying to lose a bit of weight really, um, just to make myself feel better. So I feel like soups because it's January. A good way to get veg into our systems is through soup. So thinking of soup, and then I'll dump a load of chicken in there. I've reached a bit of a plateau with my weight loss. I've stuck around 10 full for the last couple of weeks. So I just want to take it a bit further now, lower my calories slightly and um, start being a bit healthier, cutting out the chocolate altogether now and um, making some nice soups, uh, lowering my carbs a little bit more. So, I have a soup for my lunch, great. So, put the onion in, olive oil, onion, salt. I'm just throwing an onion on the floor. Standard cooking behaviour. Now these knives aren't great, the others are in the dishwasher. This is from Home Bargains about, honestly, how old am I? 35, when did I move in with a boyfriend? 20... Was I 23? Yeah. Uh, about 12 years ago. These are 12 years old from Home Bargains. I think it's £1.50. Uh, does the job. Not ideal. Um, so now a bit of salt. What does it say about salt and pepper to taste? I've got these from the range. Really good. I just like how easy they are. I don't have to do anything. Put a bit of pepper in. That'll do. This is all a guessing game really. We'll learn more as we go. So then put that in the jug. Select chop. Select saute. I don't know when I'm supposed to put everything else in. I think afterwards. That's... Right, okay. I'm going to do what it says, basically. So it says to put this in. I have no idea. Does this go like that way? And then you kind of turn it. That's it. Turn it to lock it. That goes on the top. Then let's see. See if it does what it's supposed to do. Which is saute and chop first of all. So we're going to turn it on. Saute. Chop. Lid? It's saying lid. What does that mean? Ah, hello, it's saying. We've, we're there. It's now saying hello. Chop. 
I'm just going to show you this. Then it says saute. What? What does that mean? Hmm? Hmm. Okay. So while I'm waiting on that, doing whatever it's doing, because I've no idea what that means, I'm going to chop these butternut squash pieces into 2.5 centimetres, as it mentions in the book. So I don't know why I wouldn't have put these in first, but anyway, I'm just following the instructions, seeing how easy this soup is to make, because... I love making soups, I've loved making them for a while, but what puts me off, and why I've not done it for a, a few months, years maybe, is the fact of like having to uh, get all the pans out, keep an eye on it, you know, I just don't have time. Bear with me. What I like about the Ninja is I notice we buy a lot of jarred sauces. I whisper that like I'm doing something wrong. But I know that I want more goodness in our bodies. And you can also make sauces with this ninja as well. Apparently it's really easy. And so what I'm going to do is just fill up old, jar old jars with our own sauces, like for pasta sauce, etc. I just feel like we'll all round be healthier people if I use this. So anyway, what I'm going to try and do is tidy as I go. So let's get that onion in the bin. Oh, there's two minutes left right so that is done now so now that's done what i'm going to do is get the stock 750 mils i'm going to put a little bit of lazy garlic in even though it's not in the recipe and a little bit of chopped chili and a tiny bit of creme fraiche just to make it a bit more creamy. I've just made up my own recipe. I feel like I've seen this one somewhere before. I mean, look, it's all edible. It's gonna be fine. Surely, it's gonna be fine. This is my jar of stock cubes. So, I actually wanted to put them all in one jar, and how do I know which one's which, you ask? Well, they're color-coded. So, they're chicken with the orange stamp on. Beef has red on, and yellow is vegetable. And I got those stickers, loads of them from the range, I think they're a pound. You just have to remember. I should have put it on the jar thinking about it, what each one is, but it does actually help. So that is vegetable, so I'm gonna put vegetable in, because I'm not putting meat in this one. I might put some chicken in afterwards, but I'd like to keep this a vegetable soup really. So that's 500 mil, 750 it's supposed to be, so how do I get this off now, you have to go like that to lift it, basically, right so now that's off, that's off so I can, oh yeah it's a bit hard to get this thing off because it's like a suction, so that's fine, the next step for me is to put these in the butternut squash bought them i don't like cutting butternut squash it puts me off so i buy it ready made ready cut should i say from i bought it from sainsbury's and it just makes it so much easier because what happens is if i have to peel it and cut it i just won't do it because it takes too long don't have much time now everyone thinks maternity leave is like going to be this big break but let me tell you when you've got a child at school, they come home halfway through the afternoon, honestly. So that is 500 mils. Let's get the other 250. There we go. 250. That's that. So that's it so far. Sorry, I have to be really careful with my C-section. That is pretty heavy. Um, 
I'm going to stick. I don't know if I love that or hate it. Some garlic in. Put a little bit in there. I always get a bit carried away with that lazy garlic. So it's just too easy to put too much in. And I'm going to put a little bit of chilli in. That much? Is that a lot? Maybe it is. I'm going to put less in. I'm not a chilli lover. Right. And then I'm going to put a tiny bit of creme fraiche in. Not a tiny bit. I think I'll do two spoonfuls just to make it a bit more creamy. Let's see what happens now. So now my job is to just put it back on the thing. Put the thing, put the lid on first would have, would be helpful. And then, and then put that in. So now that's on, saying lid. Why is it saying lid? Huh? Hmm. This is a bit that confuses me. Why is it still saying lid? Fuck's sake. One moment. What? Why are you being annoying? Why are you being disruptive? I think what I have to do is do it this way, actually. Oh, I think I've realised. I turned the lid the wrong way. I know what I've done. That bit there, just in case you get one. Well, you think it's common sense, really. See that bit there? That has to slot into the handle. I wasn't doing that, so I was just being stupid. Put it on. Hello, it's saying. And now I'm gonna press. Smooth. Smooth soup. And that's it. That's it. What? Right, well, let's see what it's like afterwards, shall we? So 29 minutes and we could have a soup. We could have an edible soup. It may not be, but it may be, but everything in there is edible. So what really could go wrong? So I'm just gonna quickly check on this soup, see what it's doing. Yes. So I'm getting pretty hungry. Every now and then it makes this sound and it makes me jump out my skin. Uh, but it's just the machine. I actually thought it'd fallen on the floor at one point because um, it just comes out of nowhere. So just waiting for the soup to be done. Little Olivia asleep. Now and again, hearing the odd scream. Um, oh God, I'm tired. This is the thing you see. It's like I always think, oh, it's all right. I can get through the night with less sleep because I'll sleep in the day. Do I have a chance to sleep in the day? No. It's like all of these standard things that I thought I'd managed today. Put the dishwasher on. Eh -eh. Wash clothes. Eh -eh. Do anything. No, it's now nearly, I don't even know because my Fitbit's saying it's 2.49 and I don't know if that's true or not, but it's 2.49 in the afternoon. If that's the case, George is home in 20 minutes. 20 minutes and I've not done anything. So I'm just hoping that I can have some lunch before he gets home. So last time when I had George and I was on maternity leave, obviously that is when I decided that I wanted to run my own business. So a lot of George's newborn stage and as he got older was me on a computer pounding the keyboard trying to get a business to work before my time was up for maternity leave. And um, that that basically um, is how my bump to baby started. But what that meant is with George, a lot of his early years was me working. So what I promised myself this time on maternity leave, now my business looks after itself, is to embrace cuddles in every opportunity that I absolutely can. And especially for my baby who is a rainbow baby. So it's something that I really wanted. And every time I wasn't getting pregnant, I always wondered if it was because, you know, I didn't embrace parenting as much as I should have. I wondered if it was... God's way of saying, well, you did have a baby, but you worked all the time and, you know, so you're not having another one. And that sounds really bizarre. That's what I really thought. So I promised myself that if I was ever lucky enough to get pregnant and have another baby, that I would make sure that the baby comes first and work comes second. But now I'm realising, like, staying at home, I'm not getting anything done. But anyway, I'm not complaining. 
uh, Danny is an amazing husband and would not expect me to have done any of those things anyway. Um, but I just think it's for me. Like, I think I need to get up earlier. This morning I had a bit of a late start because I was so tired from being up so much in the night that I actually slept in. And I think it's those first few hours that I managed to get some things done. I'm not the quickest around the house either. So, anyway, my soup is going to be ready shortly. So, while Olivia is resting, I am going to quickly empty the dishwasher. This has got six minutes left. So let's see, I think the soup is done. I heard a beep. So it's turned itself off by the looks of it. And the soup is done. Ooh, I'm gonna have to try it now. I'm gonna have to try it, aren't I? Now I did wing this. You know, I'm not Gordon Ramsay, not Jamie Oliver. Uh, so I don't think I ever will be. Well, I definitely won't be. Cooking doesn't come naturally to me. It's not, oh, it's hot. It's near enough tea time, so I might as well call this my dinner. And no matter what it tastes like, I'm gonna eat it. And I'm sure it should be okay, it should be. I mean, how can you go wrong with a soup? Oh, it's very smooth. Very, very smooth, actually. It's almost like a drink. Let's see how we go. Right, so this is how it looks, in fact I'll show you now, this is how it looks, so I'm going to add a little bit of pepper and see how we go, let's see, it's bloody great, it's absolutely great, the only thing that I find is it's like slipping off a spoon, so maybe it's a bit too smooth. I mean, I wouldn't normally eat with a teaspoon anyway, but it's very smooth. So maybe I needed to put maybe a potato in just to thicken it up a little bit, but, oh, it is good. Yes. Well, maybe I am the next Gordon Ramsay. Maybe I am the next uh, Jamie Oliver, because that was good. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you to cook. If I can cook, you can cook. So all that went into this was a butternut squash, already cut, an onion, some olive oil, some salt and pepper, a little bit of chili and some garlic and a stock cube, which it definitely was vegetable. So I picked the right one.